Hey everybody, this is Brett and I just got up from a nice nap and I feel refreshed. You know, one of the things that's so important with healing and even regular doctors know that sleep is so really important and when you feel tired in the middle of the day and you know you're doing a lot of cleansing and you're changing your diet, etc, etc, then don't be afraid to lay down and take a good one, two, three hour nap because you know your body is regenerating. It's like recharging like a rechargeable battery and when you are not moving, when you're not exercising, your body's cells have the ability to regenerate your body and so take the time to take naps during the middle of the day. Today I would like to read a little life coaching. That's the title of the article that I wrote a couple of months ago and it reads, Hey y'all! <laughs> I have this attitude toward life and then death that I would like to share with you. Figure out what you're here for and then go do it and do it well. Take care of yourself so that you can do what you need to in order to fulfill your desires and commitment to creation. This is so important because you know each of us probably has something that we committed to being able to achieve, you know, at least something in general, something like, uh, you know, I'm going to do something really good in this life, Lord, or creation, or Mother Nature, whatever you want to call it, and so if you'll let me have this chance to be mortal again, I'll go down there and I'll kick some ass. <laughs> okay, so, uh, tap into creation with prayer and meditation to get the answers because bec before you come here you know and they're not just going to give you the full uh, hard drive that says well here you go um, you'll, you've got everything you need to go down there and do exactly what you need to do no you're developing this intuition and this ability to connect with creation and in order to do that you have to get quiet and go within yourself and then ask for the answers and be grateful with gratitude and um, let's move on <sighs> use intuition and then fire up the power of intention to get the job done and that's a great book by Wayne Dyer the power of intention I highly recommend it don't quit you can't quit anyway life doesn't end ever don't kiss anyone's ass but be compassionate when appropriate. When you get sick of doing one thing, find another thing to do and make the transition. You know, everything has a beginning and everything has an end and that transitionary period in between the one thing and the next thing is always difficult. You know this, we all know this. But that's, you know, that's the time when we need to go and and meditate and pray about things so that we can get the answers so that we can make that smooth transition into the next job or the next mate or the next whatever it may be diet <laughs> that's been my gig okay where was I don't bitch about it for too long just make the change and do your best Take breaks when you need to and then get back to your passions. Keep getting better and better. Learn more every day. Dig deep and find the answers. Write down a to-do list and then pound out each task throughout the day. Mostly, be in the now, but think about the past and the future so that you can optimize every action, you know. A lot of people are into the be in the now with Eckhart Tolle, and that's cool, and most people need to do that because they're focused too much on the past or too much in the future. But, you know, don't think, take things too literally. Don't hop on just everyone's bandwagon like that, like so many people do, and think, well, this is the answer. This one person has the answer to everything. <laughs> I don't have the answer to everything. Nobody does. So, for in this particular circumstance, do think about the past a little bit and try and, and um, 
make up for your mistakes and don't make them again and think about the future and know where you're going and maybe uh, write down what you need to do and place it on a board and focus on it okay so when people challenge you and they will think about whether you are truly at fault or not if you are make a change if not, blow them off instantly because, you know, there's always people with their angers and agendas. And so they're going to want sometimes to cut them loose on you. So don't even, you know, th contemplate a little bit about them and what they said or what they did, you know. And if they're just idiots, then don't worry about it. Just forget about them. Okay. Listen to great music throughout your day and don't forget about art, too. Listen to the signs. Understand that everything is a clue. Some are more obvious than others. Start to recognize the easier ones and work your way up. When you can get a great sign from a vagrant on the street, then you know you're really listening to creation. <laughs> okay, so now about the death part. Here we go. And I'm not going to focus this on this too much. And this is really actually positive. Okay, before you leave this world, give it all away. As you get closer and closer to death, start becoming a philanthropist with everything that you own. Give all your stuff to people and organizations that need and deserve it. Seek out the ones that will use your stuff and the money the best. You can't take anything with you anyway. Isn't that the truth? Why let someone else divvy it up after you're gone? <laughs> See, this way, you get to decide who gets your stuff, who gets your energy, who gets your knowledge. Make some YouTube videos like I'm doing. Have fun with it. And, you know, you know certain things about living that other people need to benefit from. And when you put it out there on the Internet, when you put it out there in classes you teach, however you get it out there, creation will connect the people that are interested in your stuff with you just like magic. It's in freaking credible. Okay. Besides, it's fun to give stuff away and you will gain major points with creation if you do. So, why give it to family members unless they are the ones that truly need and deserve it? Give them a photo album. <laughs> Also, when it comes to charitable organizations, use your head. Do the research. Don't give money to charities that have CEOs making millions of dollars. No doubt. Okay, here's my favorite website for finding a great charity. www.charitynavigator.com They rate all the different charities. They'll tell you which ones are the best how much the CEOs are making, how much the whoever is making there, and now that's a major key because if it's a greed-oriented charity, stay away from it. Don't give to those people. Okay. I hope you like my writing and do something with it. And you know, energy is like a multi-level marketing business. <laughs> it trickles down, but you know what? When somebody benefits from your energy, it comes right, part of it comes right back up to you, and somehow, some way, some shape or form, we benefit back from it. We never, may never even meet the people that eventually benefited from our, our knowledge, but somehow we do get back some good energy. All right. Thank you, and go out and kick some butt. <laughs>